Well, hey, this is Chase, and in this video, I want to show you how to make a table of contents in Google Docs. It's really quite easy. So what I have here is just some uh, text, and what I've done is uh, every so often I put a header. Uh, so this step one header, you can see right under uh, the heading area, when I went to that, I selected heading one. Okay, so what you want to do is for every uh, section, you're going to have a header of some sort. Uh, so this step one, this is just kind of made up. This is a heading one. Okay, I'm going to come down there now. I have best practices as another different header, but that is a heading two. So it kind of relates to step one, and I called it best practices, and it's a header under heading one. So it's a heading two. I did one more. Uh, my experiences is a heading three. Okay. Then I went down further and final steps is a heading one. So basically you're just going to create some headers and you're going to use the heading uh, format. You're going to do heading ones. You might do some heading twos. You might do three and might do four. Okay. So as you do those, those are going to be become your table of contents. Um, so once you get that done, and you can change them and, and do whatever you need, um, and again, if you just double click on it, it'll show you which heading it is, okay? So that way it's kind of a uh, kind of a hierarchy, okay? So best practices is a heading too. Okay, now the fun part. So what you can do is I just typed table of contents up at the top. Okay, that is not a header. It is regular text. So if I triple click it, you can see it's normal text. It is not a header. Otherwise, it would be in. It would be part of the table of contents. So you don't want that. And I have it at 36. Okay, so it's just so it's big. What I would do next is come down to the line below. And I want to. I want the table of contents to be um, on its own page. Although you could just, maybe I'll just do it this way. Um, we'll insert the table of contents right under this table of contents. Okay. So I'm going to go to, make sure you're on the line you want to be right there. So I'm going to insert the table of contents right there. And you can move it over to the left, um, things like that. So now you just go to insert down to table of contents. So under the insert menu, just go down to table of contents and you can list it either with page numbers if it's really long or just with blue links and they're hyperlinked meaning they will go to the section of text I'm going to do the blue link so I just click and boom there it is that's your table of contents and actually um, it's its own little formatting thing so if you ever want to remove it you can go up to insert um, actually, I thought you could remove it. It might have to go through and remove all these individual links, okay? Uh, but anyway, now you have your table of contents. It's really easy. Now, if I click on Introduction, and then you click right here, it'll take you to the introduction. That's pretty cool, isn't it? If I go down to My Experiences, and I click on this right here, it'll go to that heading, My Experiences. And then you could say, well, maybe I want to make this uh, a different one so I can make it heading two. Okay. Then you have to go up here. If you change something, you may want to uh, click in here and redo it, uh, update it, boom, and see how my experience has just moved over. So it's pretty darn cool. That's really how to do it. If you want to insert it as its own page, you could go to insert and then break and insert a page break and now you'll have your table of contents on one page and then your uh, article starting on the next pages on and on so that's pretty simple I really like this um, I love Google Docs of course and that is how to um, make a table of contents in Google Docs hope you enjoyed this video and like and subscribe we'll see you in the next video bye for now